welcome to Gracia's Kitchen. Today I made the three ingredients sour cream cookies with multiple filling. This one is with Nutella, this one is with dates, the other crescent is strawberry jam and the last one is Turkish delight, that's for the sweet ones. And these ones, the plain, are with za'atar mix. Let's go to the ingredients. We need sour cream, butter and flour. The butter should be at room temperature, but if you can't wait, you can pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Now I'm going to put the sour cream in the mixing bowl. And top it with the butter. You can mix it by hand, but today I'm going to mix it using the stand mixer. I'm going to mix it until the butter and the sour cream is incorporated. When the mixture is incorporated, I scrape the patty attachment, mix a little bit more, then add the flour gradually. Now I'm adding the flour. Keep on adding flour until a dough forms. I will post the full measurements in the description box below. My dough now is detached from the bowl. We'll get it down and work with it. It's smooth and it doesn't stick to my hand. First filling I'm using is the Nutella. I filled some Nutella in the piping bag and I'll put it next to me. I have baking papers so I can roll the dough in between. Grab a piece of dough, I roll it between my hands, I put the other baking paper on top and I roll it. I try to keep it circle so we cut triangles of it. I peel off the baking paper and I slice it in half, then in quarters, then each portion I cut it in half as well. I'll snip the piping bag and pipe just on the edge. You can add as much as you want. You can put more or less, it's up to you. Lift the paper so it helps me with rolling. I try to close the edge, then Roll it like this and put it on the tray. The oven is preheated to 180 degrees Celsius. It will take from 25 to 30 minutes. It all depends on the power of your oven. Just keep an eye on it. When the color turns golden, you turn off the heat and you take off the trays. After putting the crescents 
in the tray. I try to pinch the end so the filling doesn't go out of the pastry. The next filling I'm using is date paste. I'm going to do the same with the dough, but this time I'm going to do another shape so I know the difference between the Nutella and the base. Now I'm making it smaller. I'll put the portion of the date on another baking paper and start falling. until I have roughly the same size of the dough. After rolling it, I fix the shape a little bit, then hold the paper and peel the dates and put it on top of the dough then I'm going to roll another dough and put it on top. Now I'm putting the other layer. I try to close all the edge. Then I'm going to slice it. Not going to roll it this time. Just it will be triangle shapes. Like that. My first tray is ready to go to the oven. I'll put it in the oven and prepare the other fillings. The next filling is some strawberry jam. The shape, I'm going to make it like the Nutella one, as crescents. Doing same steps I did with the Nutella. I'll cut a bit of the bag and pipe the jam. We roll the pastry and we put it on the tray. The next filling is some Turkish Delight. You can choose the vanilla one or the rose water Turkish Delight. I'm flattening the Turkish Delight so it will spread easier. Now I'm overlapping the Turkish Delight so I can make a circle. Then I'm going to roll it thinner. Overlapping the Turkish Delight. Now I'm going to roll it thinner. I'm going to put it on top of the dough. You can trim the excess dough. Now I'm going to roll another piece of dough and cover the top. And here's the other layer. I'll stretch it a bit to reach the edge, then I'm going to cut it in triangles. It will be harder than the dates for cutting, but eventually 
it will be cut in the end. That's the shape of the triangle ones. I'm going to put it in the tray and wait until they go to the oven. That's my second tray ready to go to the oven. And who said that we can always do it with sweet? We can make it savory with some zatar. We'll make the same. We'll take a dough portion, we roll it, and we make some crescents of zatar. Cutting again, the same technique. My first tray is done already. Now I'm going to add some zatar. It's about half a teaspoon. Then I'm going to roll it as a crescent. This step is optional, but she can dust some icing sugar on the cookies after they come out of the oven. We'll wait for five minutes, then we dust it with sugar. They're so soft, flaky, and melt in your mouth. I hope you enjoyed this recipe with me. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Enjoy!